Damn it, so I lost my crowd play. Uh, now I got a new one. Damn. Kind of sucks. I hate when that happens. So, Z V Y F L B. Z W F L B. S Z B Y F L B. Go back up to here and hopefully we are back up and running, but I can't guarantee that it's gonna be alright. Uh, it doesn't don't know. Hopefully. Hopefully everything works out just a okay. So we'll have a look. Back, back, back we go. Alright. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Right. Oh, back down. Play episode crowd play. That sucks, man. Halfway through playing online, and then all of a sudden, back. Fire into that is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, oh, thanks! Yeah, okay, cool. It so was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And do be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. At the Mineshaft. Cool, she's happy. I'm gonna go all the way back through this again. Hi, Stampy, give me the dog. Whoa! Phone. Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Yes. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Yeah. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. It's quite yeah, lovely. and I can't believe how many people are here. Um, surprised you're here. You reckon? What are you guys here? doing here, though? Oh, um, sorry, the thrill of adventure, board. I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Hey, Stampy Cat. Oh, wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Yeah. Nice second. Here, wink. Nice tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. The first season was well, so Well, thanks. Awesome. I imagine you're terribly really busy, so we won't keep you. But you and oh, don't you dare! Internet. You should come and see what we're working on because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will cool. do. See you guys later. Hopefully, it lives up to the first season. I think it will. And we're not. I'm not gonna. We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna head straight to the Ruben Memorial where it all went horribly, horribly wrong. Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, oh man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. I think he would have liked you. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I bet you would have totally been friends. Wow. Oh, my gosh, it's you. Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh, wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Than Ruben, Would though. you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Talk about knowledgeable casting. It would be an honor to say that the pig was hand-chosen by Jesse for the part. Yeah, I'm I would like, love to. It seems like it. the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much! Alright, let's see him. Bad then. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side! That's Esteban. 
Smushy Q Cheeks, and Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> I reckon that's his pig. Go for the Lord. You're all adorable. Raised all of them myself. My vote is for Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. No question. I mean, look at that regal little guy. Yeah. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. Yay. Congratulations. So I think we've made the right choice then. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye. Right, let's see what we do now. Okay, people. Wait. You can just randomly pick up sugar cane. I'll get it anyway. Maybe we need it. Sugar, nice. <laughs> nice. Sugar. Citizens partying. Wait, how did they? When they this that way? That's yeah, a pressure plate. We don't know a pressure plate. We don't need to use that. Hello, Jesse. Can we talk? Yeah, we'll talk. I am together. telling you, Stampy. It needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem <laughs> here, guys. Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Watched, yeah, um, and Stampy now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Oh, and pumpkin both. pie is the universally loved food? I think not. Why don't we have both? Oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day, otherwise. Well, now we're going to have to use the crafting table. You know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Oh, really? Okay, I know there's, there's chicken eggs here. Get egg. We'll get the eggs. See that hey, an egg! Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Thank you. Cool. So what have we got here? Pumpkin head. Pumpkin head. Right. So that was a crafting table. Oh, God. I've forgotten how to make half the stuff. Pumpkin pie. And the cake. Ah, oh, the cake I remember. Okay. It was... Oh god. It's not like real Minecraft. Wait, that's not right, is it? Ah, oh, it is. And then two sugar, egg in the middle. No, I don't want an egg there. Ah, uh, do I have to first get the sugar cane into sugar? Do I? No, I don't think I did. Sugar. Sugar. And then I lay egg. And then some fine looking bread. Well, it would be bread. Yay! Totally in the wrong order. Pretty sure it was the egg, wasn't it? No, see, everything's wrong. Too many years of playing Minecraft on creative. Cool. So now we've got the pumpkin and the cake. We can go back to these guys. Give he said cake, she said pie, and then I said, why don't we just have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? Well, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Yay. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. Right. <laughs> Cake and pie. Yes! 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 Yes!
<laughs> I have never ever seen anyone get that excited about a cake and pie. <laughs> Look, I gotta run. Petra is sure. way get down. Out I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! Good girl. Bye! Right. It's gonna make me walk all the way around until I find it, isn't it? Be this way. That looks like where we need to go. Jesse! Jesse! Give me five! And here we are at the mines. Sweet. We might nice. Get Thanks for walking with me. Now. Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people, helping them prepare for founding day. Very Why inspiring. Are you dodgy eye armor? I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things, risking your life. Spitting in fate. fate's eye. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Well Have a good time! Don't I always? Do, 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 do. Cool. Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Something's gonna happen. Petra! Where are you? <laughs> oh, who told zombie? Yeah. Can't oh, control this. Is... <laughs> oh, smell not so much. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, really glad sure to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Um, I'm not rusty. Oh, come uh. on. You can't blame me for thinking that way. When was the last time you did this? Not even wearing good armor. And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's <laughs> your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Got more deadheads to deal with. <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. Yeah. My step, yes. Well, you sure showed me. I gotta say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Well, friends are more important. Oh, come on. You know you're more important to me than all of them. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. But, uh,. Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. No. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book right is, now. it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. Got the cool people. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! Woohoo! Hey, it's 
Jesse, what's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> oh, perfect. I'm starving. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's my bad. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Ah, look down there! So you're really uh, not gonna tell I me what we're chasing? Like a, a goat? Nope. Mystery is what makes it fun. Come on! Nice. Ah. Yeah. Ah. I like all the key press on me. off somehow? Like, maybe a little lava. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Woo, that totally did the trick. Ah, see ya. Yeah. Hey, oh, no what? fair. I knew she was gonna do that. Oh, yeah! In oh, your yeah. face! Petra! Petra! You're number one! You're number one! Yeah, I can have felt great though. Still, okay, maybe I didn't I'd be win, happy. but that still felt awesome getting back out there. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Still try to look around the corner of a video again. This story mode would be awesome. VR support. Uh, a that was llama? Right. It's a llama. A llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? The llama needs a hat. It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, a uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be, like, a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, 
How about we get you out of here, hmm. huh? Don't know if that was the right move, but we'll see what happens. Come to Jesse. Right. Uh, hey there, llama. Come here, girl. Good llama. Good llama. Ah. <laughs> 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 That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. <laughs> Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the. <laughs> 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 Oh, gross. Llama. Come on, let's get after that armor wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. All right. Torch creating time. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. Told you I'm not the mayor, I'm the- Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork. She was talking too much. How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Creepy whisper. Uh, I didn't hear anything. The llama looks scared. Oh, yeah. Whoa, girl. What is it? Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Hmm. Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Love. Yeah, it's one option. Pick it up. What if you don't want to do it? Uh, well, you can't have to get the glove. shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Yo, well, I hope it's not a curse. I hope it's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Yeah. Until you die. Which oh boy. isn't what's happening here. I hope. Uh-oh! Get off the pyramid, quick! Oops. Oh, I only just got that thing. Come on, let's get you up out of there. 
of AEE. Okay, now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground? Some sort of heck mouth? Sure, yeah, heck mouth. I, I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, gives me the willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? Um, maybe we didn't cover I care whether we up. can see the bottom or not. We need to cover it up now. Right. Only you can mine that fast. Or build that fast. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. Hmm. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. Come on! Straight up. Wait. How did they get the llama out? So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Top secret, go away. <laughs> Ooh, mysterious. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. Awesome. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... Well, that was really him? bad. And you trust this guy? Yeah. I mean, I never met him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. <clears throat> okay. Come on, you. <clears throat> Gotta get you home. What about me, though? What about my hand? This thing won't come off. I... Yeah, I, I know, I know, but this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I... kinda got tricked... by this person named Stella. <laughs> Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while, and... now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. <clears throat> it's... uh... It's been not great. Hoping this is the end. Why didn't you tell me? Petro, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure sniffing llama. Her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. I reckon you really need my help. You're one of my best friends, and it sounds like you really need my help. For the record, I don't need help, but thank you. Don't worry, we're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! <laughs> Episode is. They are quite long. is it.
it. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict Impressive, about how really. things look here. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. Wow, this is super impressive. Good layout, great colors. If you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, we're almost no, there. Like it. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't. Most times. Petra, you're not scared of her, are you? What? <laughs> no, she, she's just... She's really manipulative, all right? Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Uh, well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. It's a fairly big town, isn't it? Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little like trades it? all add up after a while. So why don't they leave then? Why do they put up with it? Stella keeps some of them under her thumb, like my sword thing. But some think that if they impress her, maybe they'll move up, become a champion. All their hard work is actually doing is making Stella's city better. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm going to make sure of it. Yay. Well, nice day. Wow, that wasn't really much of a talking to. Nice day. Right. Confront this lady. Here's Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Yeah, no, uh, we're not gonna well, do that. that is a cute one. <gasps> and he could be yeah, all yours. Right. Provided oh. you have the right payment, of course. Yeah, right. Oh, she matches. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Come on, you. Oh, Luna, my darling. You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella? Oh, look who it is! Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her Voice before, right? Familiar. No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh, boy. No. <laughs> Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. <laughs> I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. What? Uh, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. <laughs> All free range, <laughs> of course. That sounds a terrible trade. Just a puppy for this? That's a terrible trade. Rude. I just thought I'd offer. I heard you need a new pet. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't 
A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. That's... Ugh. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Yeah. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. We're... I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I... Uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. Cool. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. Yeah, you did. You I'm still to... upset about this, Petra. You lied to me. I... Yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Hmm. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but... That's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Hmm. Should we try sneaking? Sneaking could be fun. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute! Oh no! How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Ah oh, yeah, that's right, we picked up that bone. Easy puppies. See? You like bones, right? Uh-oh. No, Petra, she's out. Ah, oh, cool work. Whew, close one. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy Pretty heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Really? <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty funny. She seriously thinks this makes you a hero? Treasure you got from other people? Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. What about Beacon? But what about Beacon Town? It's your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. Ugh. No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. 
gets yeah, embarrassing. Well, that well, what about loyalty, huh? To your friends? The people who take care of you? Doesn't that mean anything? Of course it does, dummy. But do you really, like, expect me to just hang around waiting for you forever? I've got my own life, my own stuff, too. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Ha! Hey, yeah, ha! Shh, check it out. That's right. It's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her <laughs> side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on. <gasps> oh, hi. Hello. Uh, you, you should not be here. This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Having a fun time, Stella? Little bit of pretend? Bet all your people out there would love to hear about this. Oh, please, no, 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 no. <laughs> you can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival. <laughs> oh, man. Rah! It feels so good to have you back. Yeah. What? Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I already know I don't deserve this back. Oh, I forgive you. Oh, I can't stay angry at you, Petra. I'm really disappointed, but I forgive you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go buy it. What is that? Stop that. Or those. Whoa, that's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Yeah, oh, cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. <laughs> so good to have you back. There's a gold sword. It's so weak. No, you don't! Sweet. Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! <laughs> oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. It's gonna get bigger and bigger. We're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's got him. Come on, I'll show you the way. It took a little while to get into the game. Not much is actually happening yet. Cool. Chick attack. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I oh, didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, 
these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. Cool, you know thanks that. for showing me. Well, I really appreciate you showing me. I know this is like your thing or whatever, and it's nice of you to share. <laughs> you are such a cornball, but no problem. <laughs> yeah, I did something. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. <sighs> okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard Nick. legends Ooh. of how great he is. Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. We'll see what happens. Jack and right Nerm's there. Adventure Emporium. Nerm's? Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Jack and Nerm's. Oh yeah. The Upper Lowlands, Spider Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. Ooh, there's an Ender Eye. It's just like I told you. It's just like I told you. Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. I think you mean best adventurers in town after us. Oh, well, yeah, of course I do. <laughs> You're not jealous, are you? Because that sounded kind of jealous. Of course not. No, of course not. Okay, if you say so. Well, just remember. Just because I'm excited to meet these guys doesn't mean that I think you're any less cool. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. <gasps> I mean, sup? You push the button. Very, very brave. I just pushed the button. I mean, I don't know how brave it was. I was just doing what the sign said. <laughs> there are lots of signs in the world. Not everyone's brave enough to follow them. <sighs> Wait, what? The warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. <laughs> the Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. Jack. to meet you, I suppose. So awesome to meet you. Love your shop. Of course it is, and of course you do. Pleasure to have you in today. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? I... Whoa! Yeah, that's what we're here about. Oh god, he's scared. <coughs> uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Yeah, 
Oh, you could help us. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from. You did, huh? You can, can't you? <sighs> Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters? Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol. <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. Oh, it's too late now. Wow, I'll be sure to remember that the next time I see a mysterious prismarine gauntlet. That sass won't fix the pit any faster, you know. That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. <laughs> no, no, no problem. <laughs> Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Sup? What are you doing with your hands? I was just about to tell these two <laughs> that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Yeah, we're tough enough, Jack. Jack, come on. Do I really need to list off all the amazing things we've done to prove that we're tough enough to handle this? We can take anything you throw at us. <sighs> Let me show you something. I don't know whether it's... It's, it's like I said before. Update, but I've noticed that talking is sometimes very... The world's a lot bigger than, than you think weird. it is, Jesse. Square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Well... Hmm... <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Jack, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Jerry, well, that's their fault. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get into that sea temple. No. That knowledge is my curse. Hmm. Heavy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have no idea. Jack, Jack, sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. Yeah, we'll tackle that temple together. <sighs> it's time, Nerm. You know what? 
You inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? You are, right? C yes. Then <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Nerm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block, sea temple. I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. Enough with the cold. Petra, I'm gonna say this as your best friend and someone who cares about you very deeply. Please never play it cool again. Never? Never, ever. Ouch. Okay. Let's stop Fine. there and resume this. Derm, I told. Next time. Bye.